So I wanted to talk a little bit about what three knives I carried the most in July of 2022 when I'm filming this. Um, and I didn't really keep track. I've actually tried to make notes of what watch and what knife I've carried every day before in a month so that I could kind of track that. But that's a lot of work. And I have some watch friends that actually do that. And they have a whole spreadsheet and, and what watch they wore in the morning versus the afternoon, how long they wore them and things like that. Because as knife guys and watch guys, <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, me, I will tend to carry a different knife in the morning sometimes than in the afternoon. And same with a watch, depending on what I'm doing and where I'm going. So I also, I don't wear a watch when I film because I don't want to take anything away from what I'm talking about with a watch on my wrist, number one. And number two, generally around the house, I'm not wearing a watch or carrying a knife. Don't hate me. But sitting in my office, there's, you know, three or four knives on my office desk here at the YouTube table. There's, you know, a, 10 knives. Um, out by the couch, there's a knife on the end, you know, not an end table, like, uh, yeah, the end table, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Um, and on the kitchen, there's knives all over the place. So I don't necessarily carry one in my pocket when I'm just lounging around the house. But anyway, let's get to what the top three knives were that I carried this month. First off is the VC Edge interface. And these are in no particular order. It's not that I carried this one more than the other two, you know, um, this thing is just so light. I've talked about it before, 1.5 ounces, and it's very slim and it just disappears in the pocket. So it's just a very nice, easy knife to carry. And while it's light, it's strong and is going to handle anything I am going to put a knife through. I'm opening boxes. I'm doing office type work. I, I, it's fine. Doesn't need anything more than this type of a knife. It's strong enough. This is not my outdoor go do bushcraft with. Okay. So that's one that I've carried a lot. The other one that I've carried a lot is the very first custom Hellraiser that Ed Kim from Red Horse Knife Works ever made. That Jim Skelton got years ago. And I was able to get it from a different guy that got it from Jim, you know. So, and this is out of all the Hellraisers that I own, which is, I don't know, six or eight now, maybe 10. I don't know. I sold a couple. Um, even though it's got a thumb disc that I don't love, thumb discs, this is the Hellraiser that I do carry the most. Uh, it's super easy to carry. It is heavier for sure than the VC Edge, but I could totally wear this in a suit if I wore suits often. I probably would not carry it in my suit as a general suit knife, but I could because it's not that unwieldy to carry in the pocket. And it's super cool, gets a lot of comments. It's got carbon fiber on it, which I love carbon fiber, as we all know. And, you know, Jim Skelton owned it. So to me, there is some value, some heritage, some something that, that goes along with that for me personally. And yes, he's just a guy and he and I are good friends and we chat all the time. He is nothing, he's not a God. I don't worship him or anything like that, but it's cool to know that he owned it and did a bunch of videos on it. So to me, that's cool. The other one I've been carrying a lot is the RJ Martin Q36SS. I've been carrying this a lot for a couple of reasons. One, I just got it. So I just got this in the month of July. Um, maybe the very beginning. I don't remember the exact date. I'd have to look on my spreadsheet because I do keep a spreadsheet of all of my knife purchases, watch purchases. So I did just get this in July. So... It's new, so there's some novelty with it because it's brand new. The other reason is because it's light. It's kind of weight-wise in the middle of these two. 
and it's super slim compared to the Hellraiser and other a lot of other knives. So it carries really, really well. This one is in Magna Cut. The blade is a little more polished, mirrored than I would prefer. But I bought what I could get and did a trade deal with a friend, Mason. And I'm super happy with that. Would I like another RJ Martin? Yeah, I think I would. I think I'd want one with a dark etched Sanmai blade, actually. But let's not go crazy. So these are the three that I've carried the most in the month of July. I don't always do these types of videos, but I thought it'd be interesting. I've seen other people talking about what they've carried lately and things like that. So it just kind of got me thinking. Um, I don't really think too much about where I'm going that day or what I'm doing. Um, a little bit. If I'm going to go see a friend, a knife friend or a watch friend, I may pick something different than I took to their place last time or the different than they saw last time, you know, because I want to try to mix it up and, and I carry stuff so that I could show people. Somebody will say, Hey, I, I see a pocket clip in your pocket. You know, what are you carrying? Or, you know, that's fun for us knife guys. Right? So I do think about that. Where am I going to be? Who am I going to be around? But every knife I have pretty much could function in most any application. I, I mean, I don't get into a lot of hard to use stuff, so I don't really have to pick like a, a, a beater knife, if you will, or a cheap, affordable knife because I'm going to XYZ place. But so check down below and let me know what are you guys carrying? Do you have a typical, Hey, this is the knife I generally carry every day. And I mix it up with this other one. Do you mix it up every day? I don't know. I'm curious. So let me know down in the comments and um, have a fantastic day. I greatly appreciate your time.